brothers and sisters, it looks like we're on the home stretch. As I trust you're aware, the plan is for us to come together and meet again as a church on the 24th of May. Because of the uh, change in government recommendations, because of the change in public perception, and also because we believe there's a, a decreased risk of contracting COVID-19, we feel that it's safe and prudent for us to be able to make plans to meet together. So we've sent you out an email and several people have already written to let us know whether they're attending or uh, planning to attend or not to attend. And if you could please um, write to let us know, that would be great because we're trying to uh, figure out our plans because if there's close to 50 people, uh, we're going to split into two groups. So we don't, and we're not in danger of going over what the government allows um, and so that we can also um, maintain proper social distancing. And so please, um, please write and let us know and, and, and understand too that, that whatever your decision, uh, whether you decide that, that you uh, want to come, that's great. Um, but if you decide that you think it's not best for you to come at the moment, then we understand. Um, I know for our family, uh, because of Liam's uh, health issues, we're really trying to figure out what the best approach that, that we would have um, to this as well. So, so again, I hope to see many of you. But uh, again, I completely understand if you feel that it's not, it's not wise or safe for you and your family at this point. Um, but I really would like to, to you to consider, as, as for all of us to consider, as we've had this now almost two months apart, um, what is it that you've missed about Providence Baptist Church and gathering together with Providence Baptist Church? What is it you've missed um, in our not being able to gather together? And th these things that, that, that we enjoy, um, the fellowship in, in the Word and prayer, um, receiving the Lord's Supper, um, just loving each other in Christ, um, these things have been purchased for us by the Gospel. And so just think about your life now in Christ and think about the what, um, how even as I mentioned this on Sunday, that you now um, hate what you loved and love what you hated. And before coming to Christ, you really had um, no desire to be with God's people. And before you had, uh, before you came to Christ, um, God's people were strange to you. Um, God's people were even possibly distasteful to you. But because of the gospel, uh, you now love your brothers and sisters in Christ. And this is a change that the Holy Spirit has wrought. And so this, this yearning, this desire that we've had to gather together that is, has been um, unfulfilled during this time um, is actually from God. And so we thank God for it. And we, we thank God that um, in this local church that, that we, have a, uh, we have this desire that we genuinely love each other. Now, of course, we all need to realize that, that none of us have this love to the extent that we're called to have because this is the, the standard is the perfect love of Christ. And, and so we all need to be asking the Lord to forgive us for our failure and to, um, to fan that love into a flame. But, but to the extent that you have love for God's people, it comes from God. And likewise, if you have a, a love to hear God's word, this comes from God. If you have a love to sing uh, the great hymns of the faith, and, and solid new um, songs as well, then this comes to you from God. Because we, we didn't have those desires. We, again, we loved, we love what we now hated and we hate what we now loved. God has filled love for him in us. God has filled love for each other in us. And, and so we thank God for this. This is purchased for us again by the gospel. And so I would just, just encourage you just to stop and think about what you've missed in, in our being unable to gather together? And what is it you're excited about um, gathering together? And, and um, it's no secret that, that what I'm looking forward to the most is, is the Lord's Supper. Um, just, just looking out at your faces as we um, eat and drink and, and, and fellowship um, in communion with, with God together. Um, this is, this is the, the, what I'm looking forward to the most. And, and I, I think that would be true for many of you as well. Um, but again, just stop and think and, and thank God uh, for our local church and, and for what God is doing in our local church, for the, the individual members of our local church. Um, and and be, be thankful for them and, and remember that they are God's gift to you and you are God's gift to them. And so, uh, again, I understand that there's going to be some who won't be able to come for the time being and, and please know that, that you'll be missed and that we'll look forward to you gathering with us again. But, but please, all of us, let's consider on the gift that this local church is, and let's look forward to uh, being able to gather together when we can all be there um, together.